Welcome in this video in which we are going to learn how to use variables, array and structures. To create variables, I'm using what we call a dictionary. I have one global dictionary, which name is resource1.var for the whole resource. And I have one local dictionary for each program, which name is the name of the program .var. Inside the dictionary, I can change the order of my columns. I can show or hide different columns. Um, I can hide the columns I don't need and uh, show only the columns I need. Uh, I can resize my columns and so on. In each column, I can do some sorting by double clicking or clicking on the arrow. So I can sort in uh, increasing or in decreasing order and I can also sort uh, on two or three columns by clicking on the control uh, pad and you see um, that I have sorted by the name and by the data type in this order okay I'm going now in the global dictionary and I will create some variables I will create a double integer variable so the data type will be the int. I'm creating also a time variable. So the data type is time and a string variable. So data type will be so string. For the strings, I have to specify the length of my string. So I will take the column string size and I will change the default value. I will put 16. Now for each of these variables I will enter an initial value. So the initial value shall be an integer for my double integer variable, a time value for my time variable and a string value for my variable which is a string. Here we go. I'm creating now some other Boolean variable. So I will call it first one variable one. And I will show you that you have a first checking in the dictionary. So you will not be able to create several time variables with the same name. Another checking is done with the initial value. You cannot enter an integer value for a Boolean variable, for example. You have to select a Boolean value. Let's have a look now to filters. In each column, you can have some filters. For example, in the variable name, if I write a letter, I just see all the variables beginning by this letter. I can do exactly the same in other columns. For example, data type, if I tap B, I see all the variables with the data type beginning by B. I can cancel my filters with this small icon. In the direction column, you can specify var, var input, or var output. Var input will be for the inputs connected to inputs card, and the attribute will be read. Var output will be for variables connected to output cards. If I have many variables to create, I can use the quick declaration. In this case, I'm going to create 20 variables, beginning by my var, and which will be, for example, short int. Short int, OK. So I have created 20 variables from my var 0 and to my var 20 on data type short int. I'm going now to open the data type sheet in the library and I'm going to create an array. The name will be my array. I will choose double integer and it will be from 1 to 20. The same way in the structure sheet, I'm going to create my own structure for controlling a motor. I will call it my motor and I will create the parameters of my structure. A start order, a stop order, a defect, I will call it fault, and for example, a double integer, which will be the number of hours 
uh, which my motor has run. Okay, so now my data types are created. I can create in my dictionary some variables with these new data types. First, I'm creating an array with the data type my array. So I have created a variable which is an array of 20 double integer. The same way I'm going to create motor 1 which will be a motor so I will choose the structure my motor. This video is now finished. If you want to contact us, you can write us at support at isagraph.com or super at isagraph.com.